Still waiting on the spring, a secondary spring and helix for the go-kart. Uh, it is raining probably for the next 10 days or so, which isn't really compatible with slicks or going too quickly. However, we do have this in the meantime, uh, e-bike. It has treads, which is uh, quite a bit better in the rain. Um, gonna do the shunt mod, secure the battery a little better, add some regen braking, and of course fenders. Quickly realize that in the rain, um, fenders are a must if you don't want to have uh, water driven up your ass. So, let's get going on that. Where's the damn solder? Mm -mm -mm -mm. For the shunt mod, we'll start with this. I don't know if that's coming through. Um, let's see what happens. You know, there's a little bit of solder I added to it. Might blow the MOSFETs, but uh, I hope not. Okay, PSA, I'm wrapping up this uh, wire so they're not getting mangled, which it might anyways, but this Harbor Freight electrical tape, vastly inferior. I mean, yeah, the price is gonna be less, but hey, if you're gonna buy it, go buy the Scotch, the 3M stuff. God damn. We're gonna try to mount this battery with this uh, LLPT tape. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen Project Farm, but they said this was a good bang for your buck. It's currently 30 degrees outside, so I don't know if that's gonna affect the adhesive properties of the whole thing. And uh, this garage was heated, kinda, um, but I only have one outlet, working outlet, and uh, well, it damn near burnt this uh, Harbor Freight extension cord. Well, it did, but um, yeah, so we got no heater. I'm not sure what the temp in here, so we'll see, uh, you know, see, see, see how it sticks. I guarantee you I'm gonna screw this up. Ah, maybe I just need some good pressure. Ah, fuck it. Okay, got these little 3D printed blocks that will uh, zip tie to the frame. And, well, this is what I got right now is this dowel. Uh, maybe wood not, might not be the best material, but it's kind of one of those things that is temporary, the terms are permanent. And uh, might bend, this is just ABS, might bend it out. You know, I don't really have some way to attach it. Probably bend this with a heat gun. That's what needs to be done. This part of the road looks pretty good. The issue is, it melted and then froze again. So. Top speed, about the same as before actually. Um, we're pulling 67 amps, so we do have our headlight. Interesting, we still have light through the headlight even when it's off. Not sure what that's about. Turn signals, if we want to use them in the future or whatever we want to hire. The uh, regen braking wasn't doing jack. I need to actually test to see if this horn button is making contact or anything. Other than that, um, Looks like the fender did its job. I um, don't have water up my ass. For those 67 amps you recorded, I'm gonna look at the Molly Cell P42A. Those are the batteries used on the e-bike. I got three in parallel, so this 20 amp uh, discharge graph should be about the same, so 60 amps. Um, coming down here, a fully charged battery. Looks like we're gonna have a voltage drop about 3.7 volts. Now, if we take our 3.7 volts, times it by our 20 in series, um, times our 67 amps, we are just around 5,000 watts. Granted, this is peak watts. I don't, this was probably only held very briefly. However, it is 5,000 watts nonetheless. Time will tell how long the components will fare with this. Um, might push a little more until uh, something gives.